Namaste and welcome to day 16 of 30 days of AppRite. In the previous episode, we learned about the AppRite database and how we can use it to store custom data of our application. And we also learned how using console, we can create new collections and documents define rules for our collection. And for our application, we are tracking the water intake of a user. So we need a collection called water intake or entries or whatever we name it. And then for the rules, we need amount that is amount of water. It's a numeric value. So the rule is numeric. Then date, date again, we save it as Unix timestamp or in milliseconds. So it's again numeric and then user the ID of the user or user ID field that we save the user's ID so that we can link the document or query the document using the user ID. And for the permission, anyone can read, anyone can write or we can use role member for both read and write because only logged in users can view this. One way to create a collection and define rules is using AppWrite console. However, if we are to define this database again in different setup, we'd have to do it all again. So instead of defining or creating collections and rules from console, we could use the AppWrite server side SDKs. And today's session, we are going to look at the dot AppWrite SDK or AppWrite's dot SDK for server side functionalities. And we will use that to create a collection list collections and define the rules for our collection. Let us begin. We'll use the same project instead of creating a new one. We could also create a new dart project. However, it's easier just to create a script here. So I'll create a script called dbsetup.dart. So this will set up our database. And in order to use dart app right, let me add dart app right here. And again, it's the same version as Flutter dev.1. Once this is done, let's run Flutter pop get. Now here, import dot app right. Let's set up our client endpoint. set project let's copy the project value from our constants here we can copy this project value this is our project and finally for server side SDKs we need to set key and this key we can get from the console let's see how if we go to our console go to API keys here we can add new key Right now, let us provide all the scopes. We can just also provide collections read and write scope. And let me name this DB setup script. Let me show and copy this secret and let's paste it here. So this is our key. And let us instantiate database service. Now we are ready to begin our implementation. Let's create a main function. First, let's see how we can get a list of existing collections. Let me create a function called get collections. This will return a list. Try press equals await db dot list collections. We can simply call list collections. And here we can also pass search to search the collection by name. We can limit offset order, but default is fine for us because we have only one collection in this project. And if this is successful, we want to return
in order to view the structure of return data you can go to the app rights official docs as i showed you in the previous episodes on app right exception as e let's just print masses and then null so get collection can return null this should be nullable and in the main function let us call this collections get collection okay and right now we can simply print collections and see it in action let me run this script from the terminal dart db setup dot dart this will run and this should give me the list of existing collections so i can see the collection id permissions name is water intake date created all the rules now we'll create a function that will create the collection for us so let's create another function sync try db dot create collection and create collection has few parameters that are all required so let us name the collection entries read permission let's give to role member write permission again role member and rules so rules are a set of objects or array of objects that are defined in particular way we will see how if this is complete we can print data what is written and then print collection entries created on upright exception if there is an exception catch e print the masses let us define our rules as i showed you before we have three different attributes for our document we'll define the rule for each of them here so this should be an object first type type is text then key let me start with the key the key is user id and then level then type will be text for user id it's a text string value so type is text default empty we don't want any default value array false we don't want this to be array required true so this is required let us copy this duplicate this next our key is amount amount so for amount type will be numeric default again empty array false required true that's fine let's again duplicate this finally for date date again this is numeric default now array false required true so all these fields are required so this is how we can create a collection and define the rules so we have a create collection we give it a name and read and write permissions for the collection and then finally we provide a rules array for all the attributes now let me call it here await create collection however every time we run this script it will create a new collection called entries if we want to prevent that we can just check the existing collection and verify if collection entries exist or not so let's do that so let's make false so exist is false if collection is not equal to null if it is null it doesn't exist that's fine collections is not equal to null 
for each if element name equals entries so if name equals entries we can make exist true and we can make this collection so we look through the collections and if the collection named entries already exist we make exist true otherwise here we'll check if not exist only then we call create collection now if i run this script now it should first time create the collection so dart setup dot dart and print out the newly created collection see we have a collection named entries and then id all these things so if i copy i need to copy this id we need this in our apps constants because later we will enter data into this so this is our entries collection where we will save the water intake of the users if i run this script again this should not do anything because entries collection already exists so see there is no output printed we could also print a message that collection already exists so we could do as if else print already exists and we could run again this would print collection already exists now if we go back to our app write console here in the database section now we have entries collection and we have the rules that we have defined so user id text required amount numeric required date numeric required this is all for today's episode using the server side sdks you can easily create or define collections rules even delete the collection simply by calling delete collection with id and you can do all sorts of manipulations even you can add or prefill your collection with data etc i hope you enjoyed this episode and it was fruitful thank you see you again in the next episode